Okay, this is a conversion burner. Uh, it's never been installed, but it's pretty much an antique. Uh, these are no longer installed. We usually put these things in old octopuses and the like to uh, to convert them to natural gas. Uh, they uh, most of the places they're illegal to put in anymore because of efficiency issues. But this is a good for a, this is going to be good for a demonstrator to show how the uh, pilot system works on these things, how you light a pilot, how you uh, check out a pilot, and so on. So you can see the gas valve is on the right, and the burner is on the left. And let's take a look at that pilot assembly. This is your pilot right here thermocouple right there. I'm going to go ahead and light that so you can see what it looks like. Okay, when I'm ready to light this thing, I go ahead and right now this knob is right there in the off position. It's not going to do anything. I can press it down, do whatever I want. It's not going to make any difference. I'm going to turn it to the pilot position. When I push it down, it's going to allow pilot gas to pass through uh, the gas valve and to the pilot. Now, if there's a lot of uh, air in the line, where maybe just put a new line in or put a new piece of equipment in or something, this is going to have to be pressed down for quite a while. And what you're going to do is press down and then attempt to light the pilot. So I'm going to show the pilot here. Okay, the pilot's lit. It's touching the thermocouple. It should touch the thermocouple three eighths to half an inch. Shouldn't be higher into the flame or lower into the flame. And that looks about right. Uh, you're going to hold the button down. And right there, you'll be holding that button down until the pilot stays on when you lift it off. If it you lift it off and it drops out, then you got to try again. Okay, this pilot is blue. It's supposed to be blue. It's going straight out. It should go straight out. You may be able to see a little better there. Uh, it's playing on the thermocouple just about exactly the way it should. Okay, now let's look at what's wrong with this pilot. You can see the pilot is there, however, it's not even reaching the thermocouple. And it may work for a while this way, but probably not for a long time. Uh, eventually, it's going to move away a little bit from that thermocouple and drop it out or just go out itself that's not it's not covering up the thermocouple like it should so that one does not have enough flow now there's a pilot adjust on the gas valve and uh, I'll show you where that is okay here's a pilot adjust screw that's just a cap I'm going to take it off okay now we can see the pilot adjust notice it's noted right beside it that's pilot adjust and it takes a very small screwdriver a little thermostat screwdriver and there's a little slot head down there and you can move it back and forth okay now you can see that pilot's too small as you bring it back up now you got good coverage of the thermocouple. Generally when you find one that is uh, similar to the way this one was when it was down here like this, that's usually a plugged orifice. Uh, there is an orifice in these things and we'll take that out. Okay here we've got that pilot assembly torn apart. Here's your pilot tube. 
and this is the orifice and the orifice fits right in there and that there's a hole in the middle of that thing and it uh, restricts the flow now if you look close you can see a little hole in that thing that is the orifice this is a very small hole you don't stick wires through it or anything like that to try to clean it uh, you can try putting a toothpick in it if you want a very small piece of wood but that's about it uh, generally if you can you want to replace them and here it is back assembled and we'll fire it off and you can see how it burns now there's your burner and that's the operation of the pilot burner